Today, we are going to talk about biosynthesis of aromatic family of amino acids. And in this lecture, we will discuss the biosynthesis of tryptophan, phenylalanine, and tyrosine. The aromatic amino acids, namely phenylalanine, tyrosine, and uh, tryptophan, are central molecules in plant metabolism. Besides their function as building blocks of proteins, they serve as precursors for a variety of plant hormones such as auxin and uh, salicylate etc. The aromatic amino acids of plants are also essential nutritive compounds in the diets of humans and uh, monogastric livestock which are unable to synthesize them. The biosynthesis of aromatic amino acids from core primary metabolism initiates via the shikimate pathway leading to the synthesis of chorismate. Just look at this diagram. This is chorismate. And this chorismate is the initial branch point metabolite in the synthesis of all three aromatic amino acids, tryptophan, tyrosine, and phenylalanine. First of all, we'll start with the biosynthesis of chorismate. That is the precursor or starting material for the biosynthesis of uh, aromatic family of amino acids, right? Chorismate biosynthesis pathway or shikimate pathway converts two metabolites. Just look at this pathway. Phosphonyl pyruvate of the glycolysis and erythrose for phosphate of the non-oxidative branch of the pentose phosphate pathway into chorismate. The first enzyme of the shikimate pathway is 3 deoxyd arabinoheptulosinate 7 phosphate this enzyme converting phosphonyl pyruvate and erythrose for phosphate into 3 deoxyd arabinoheptulosinate 7 phosphate second enzyme then of this pathway is 3 Dehydrogenate synthase, which converts this 3 deoxy D arabinoheptulosinate 7 phosphate into 3 dehydrogenate. Third and fourth enzymatic step of this pathway catalyzed by bifunctional enzyme 3 dehydrogenate dehydrotase or shikimate. 5 dehydrogenase leading to the formation of shikimate. Next enzymatic step is catalyzed by shikimate kinase enzyme, which converts shikimate to shikimate 3 phosphate. The sixth enzymatic step, which is catalyzed by 5 enol pyruvyl shikimate 3 phosphate synthase leads to the synthesis of 5-enol pyruvyl shikimate 3-phosphate. And the final step is catalyzed by an enzyme, chorismate synthase, which converts this 3, uh, sorry, 5-enol pyruvyl shikimate 3-phosphate into chorismate, right? And this chorismate, which is the terminal metabolite of shikimate pathway, serves as the initiator metabolite for the synthesis of three aromatic amino acids, phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. Next is biosynthesis of phenylalanine. The first step of phenylalanine biosynthesis from chorismate. Let's look at this pathway. Here, this first step is catalyzed by enzyme chorismate mutase, which converts chorismate to prefinate. Next two enzymatic steps converting prefinate to uh, phenylalanine in plants are still not entirely elucidated. But 
the major route involves the conversion of corismate via aerogenate to phenylalanine catalyzed by prephenate amino transferase enzyme and aerogenate uh, dehydratase enzyme right still uh, it's not clear whether plants can also convert corismate to phenylalanine via this second pathway that is through phenylpyruvate using enzyme prephenate dehydratase or uh, aromatic amino acid amino transferase in a similar manner to e coli and various other microorganisms but prephenate amino transferase this enzyme converting prephenate into aerogenate then to phenylalanine has been reported in plants next is tyrosine biosynthesis the major route of tyrosine biosynthesis initiates from corismate this right using the same first two enzymes of phenylalanine biosynthesis namely corismate mutase and prephenate amino transferase to produce aerogenate right aerogenate is then converted into tyrosine by aerogenate dehydrogenase enzyme a second possible route of tyrosine biosynthesis this one it includes the conversion of prephenate to p hydroxyphenylpyruvate by prephenate dehydrogenase enzyme right but possible existence of this alternative pathway for tyrosine biosynthesis is still in doubt next is tryptophan biosynthesis the first step of tryptophan biosynthesis includes the transfer of an amino group of glutamine to corismate to generate uh, anthranilate and pyruvate and this step is catalyzed by an enzyme anthranilate synthase right second enzyme of this pathway is phosphoribosyl anthranilate transferase which converts anthranilate into phosphoribosyl anthranilate right and inorganic pyrophosphate uh, group next enzyme is phosphoribosyl anthranilate isomerase this enzyme which converts phosphoribosyl anthranilate into 1o carboxyphenyl amino 1 deoxyribulose 5 phosphate right fourth enzyme is indole 3 glycerol uh, phosphate synthase which catalyzes this compound 1 o carboxyphenyl amino 1 deoxyribulose uh, 5 phosphate to indole 3 glycerol phosphate right last two steps in the tryptophan biosynthesis are catalyzed by tryptophan synthase indole 3 glycerol phosphate is cleaved by tryptophan synthase alpha subunit right uh, to produce indole and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate then this indole is transported to tryptophan synthase beta subunit which catalyzed its condensation with serine to produce tryptophan right this is all about the biosynthesis of aromatic family of amino acids thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe for more thank you